Hello everyone! I am here and I'm wearing Christmas pajamas because today I'm going to be decorating for Christmas. My friend Natalie who is an interior decorator, she's going to be coming over and helping me to like make the, just transform the space. I know I'm a little late on this but like I got sick and I was traveling. Like I'm sad that it took this long. But you can see the bear tree behind me so I'm so excited to finally decorate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these decorating type videos and you want to see more of them. Big plans for renos on this channel in the future like in 2019 it's gonna be big year renos so make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday and without further ado let's get into this. Okay guys Natalie arrived <laughs> if you couldn't already tell because now my entire home is covered in Christmas stuff. It's some of our Christmas stuff as well as the stuff that Natalie brought to kind of like make it more modern farmhouse, which is sort of my style. So we have a bunch of elements in here I'm really excited about. Like look, look at this little, look at this little, it's like me in a box. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the tree. So we're gonna get that all up. This is the fake tree and then we have a real tree that goes in the family room, which is all like the color lights, the kids stuff, like it's all like that kind of like kitschy Christmas kind of thing. Uh, but this is my, my front tree. Okay, so we are starting with these nice branches, which Natalie spray painted black and then silver on top. And then we have these big, big, I don't know what, baubles? <laughs> They're just giant ornaments in different shapes and sizes and some of them are gold and some of them have more like silver and white. And then once those are all filled in, then we're gonna go in with some of the smaller ornaments and we have like cool snowflakes because I love wood. Wood and greenery is like my jam for Christmas time. So we're gonna do lots of those. And then we have these like silvery, glittery pine cones, which are fun. And then also these white reindeers, which are adorable, so. Keep going, and soon it will be complete. And here we have the final result, guys. I am so excited. We even added some presents at the bottom. So it looks all like, even though there's nothing in them, don't tell anyone. But I love it, it's so nice and full. It's got all of the elements that I love, the pops of red, the white, the just the wintry feel. Now on to the mantle place. So we're adding in a whole bunch of like, greenery we might have like some signs and stuff to fill in the space on top we also put little finishing nails here so it's going to help like keep everything in place so it doesn't like fall off and uh yeah this is like a focal piece i'm really excited about it the mantle in place, although I don't have up the stockings yet because I need more of like the little sticker things for the command hooks to like pop them underneath, but these are what they look like. I love them. I don't even know where I got them from. It might've been like um, home sense, I think, but uh, these are gonna go up underneath here. And now we're working right behind the um, the couch. I was gonna say the fireplace. That's the fireplace. So we're gonna add some pops of red on the couch, red and white and gray. And then back here, I wanted it to be a little bit more clean, more modern, just do like wintry white and a bunch of like just greenery and stuff. This guy behind us is giving us some trouble and it's just like it's not feeling as balanced as we want so we're just gonna leave this for a minute and just like we're gonna work on the next area which is the dining room area and like the little like bookshelves and stuff that we have there and we're just gonna see 
once we've like had a moment away from it and we'll go back to it later. Sometimes that happens with like some of these like decor pieces and it's just like, I just need a break from it. And we'll go back and we'll like reassess once we've had a minute. But I feel like it's just missing some things with some height in there. I do like the greenery, I like, like the baubles and stuff like that, but like, I think that's what's missing, so. On to the next. All right, now we're putting together everything for the dining room area. So we started with a runner, which we've been looking for, something like this, just like a nice, simple, has a little bit of a sheen to it, but like, I love that. And then took off all the yellow because um, yellow is just like more of a summery, like a spring color. So we're going to now tie in all these silver accents. We kind of like started pooling them here. Plus this like a little, <laughs> This little guy right here. So now we're adding in all of the little Christmas ornaments. So we're keeping it all in the sort of the silvers and whites kind of a theme. And then we have like the little pops of like Christmas Christmasiness. And then up here we have like a little bit as well. But I like the way that this is turning out. It's looking like really cute and like fun and like very me. We ended up doing our advent wreath right in the center there. And I actually moved the piece that was here and I put it like right in between the playroom and the kitchen. So we are most of the way done. We've got pretty much every different area um, complete, but we're missing a couple pieces. So we're gonna start back up, I think tomorrow and like just get up the final pieces. It's just like missing some things that need height and stuff like that, like little jars and whatever. So stay tuned, I'll be back. Or day two. Hey guys, so it is now day two and I Natalie just left and I wanted to show you guys sort of what everything looks like now and how everything is all set up. I'm so excited, it feels so Christmassy in the house now, which makes me really happy. So let's walk through. I will show you guys what's going on. So you guys already saw most of the other stuff, but you didn't see the finalized, except for the pot. I need to put a pot right there. But I love the lights. It just brightens it because otherwise it's too dark with the big block of wood and the greenery. So the little like lights in there just really complement it well. So I really like it. So cute. All right, so here is what, you probably noticed this, um, this is what my background is for my baking videos. Um, we just removed the two plants that are usually right here and here. And now we're gonna make it a little bit more Christmassy. Currently in the process of repotting rosemary. These used to be in our garden outside, um, but clearly it's not gonna survive outside. So I have this like white pot, so I'm gonna put it in there. But it's so cold. I put on <laughs> these fuzzy, I don't even know. I think I got these from Loving Tan and I have my slippers on. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. I'm gonna go and do this now. So we did the pomegranates. We have some recipe cards in the back of some um, sugar cookies and stuff I need to be making. All of our baking stuff with the pops of red and then pears. I feel like this is very Christmassy with the pears in here and the little Noel sign and everything. But I like it. It's simple. I can still use the counter space. It has usable elements in it, but it feels very Christmassy, right? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of decorating for Christmas is. Is it the tree? Is it the lights outside? Is it wrapping presents? Like, I want to know what you guys are really enjoying. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Saturday. And check out the video. I put up another video today on Rachel Loves and I tried out, I did a full day wear test on a bunch of new makeup that I bought from Ulta. So you can check that out in the cards on the screen there. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day and I will see you guys all in my next video on Saturday. Love you all. Mwah.